Welcome to um, this presentation of the Management Engineering Program. I am Professor Fatma Zara from the Department of Management Sciences, and I am here because I am the Associate Chair for Undergrad Studies. And I have here with me Professor Ada Hurst, also of Management Sciences. I have uh, Raja Sagakini, uh, who's a fourth year Management Engineering student, and I have Tony Lee, who's also a Management Engineering student. In this presentation, we will tell you about uh, what management engineering is about. Um, we will uh, tell you how it compares to other programs. And we will tell you about uh, potential co -op opportunities and future careers, as well as student life. When you join a program in, in engineering, you graduate with a Bachelor of Applied Science. And what that means is that you will learn about uh, sciences and how to apply them to design and build solutions. In fact, the word engineer means to design and build. The sciences that uh, many of you will learn are uh, physics, uh, mathematics, including calculus, um, uh, biology, chemistry, and computer science uh, to build systems, systems like um, engines, bridges, uh, power systems, but also management systems. A Bachelor of Applied Science in Management Engineering applies management sciences to design and build management systems. The two key words here are management sciences and management systems. In the rest of the pre this presentation, we will tell you about management systems and give you examples of those. But now I will start by defining what management sciences is. Management sciences com combines knowledge from three main areas. The first is data analytics. In this area, we use math and data science to understand, model, and solve real-life problems. These problems or solutions generally are embedded within uh, computer systems. Um, and for that, you would need software and information systems knowledge. Finally, we use uh, organization science, which uh, means, uh, which uses topics uh, like psychology and economics uh, to build systems that are suitable to benefit people and organizations. And now I will tell you an example of a management system. Back in March, at the height of the pandemic, we were all placing orders on Amazon, and we were surprised that we can either cannot receive uh, our order or it's going to be within, uh, delivered within uh, weeks or even months. And that was a shocking experience for many of us. And um, the reason why Amazon was not able to deliver is because their delivery system could not manage the demand. And so there is a delivery system there that needs to be designed and managed. And that's what uh, we do in management engineering. Um, a successful example of uh, designing a package delivery system uh, was uh, developed by UPS. Um, you can think of a UPS truck delivering about 100 um, deliveries per day, and that amounts to a huge amount of possible um, routes. And um, to find the best such delivery route is a, a tremendous task. UPS obviously wants to minimize the time and the cost of deliveries, but also wants to satisfy its customers, and that's you. So UPS's operations research team created Orion, which stands for the On-Road on Integrated Optimization and Navigation System, which uses advanced math, computer science, and uh, knowledge of human behavior to solve uh, these routes effectively and efficiently. Um, to deploy the system, M UPS uh, used about 500 of its staff, and the outcome is amazing. They were able to solve 100 million miles per year by optimizing their delivery routes, and that amounts to savings of about 300 to 400 million dollars per year. Another example of a management system is our fourth year design project. We are designing a decision support system for homeowners who are thinking about investing in solar panels. The current process for buying solar panels is inefficient because of the wide variety of information sources which can result in generalized solutions. The system that we are designing and building consists of a user interface that takes in user data, 
which is then passed into a mathematical model. The model uses energy usage prediction algorithms to calculate and output the optimal number of solar panels for each unique homeowner. The system streamlines the decision-making process for homeowners who are considering investing in solar panels. This promotes the use of renewable energy sources. Management systems can be found in almost every field you could possibly think of. For this example, I'll be demonstrating how they exist in finance. Now, companies need to instill a proper system to manage their finances, and that is for a variety of reasons, such as ensuring good return on investment, investigating feasibility, maintaining budgets. This example encapsulates all these reasons. Now, large consumer goods companies usually have segmented departments with their own products and corresponding financial systems. And so promotional spending is an important factor to consider. And this occurs whenever a department uh, spends money on promoting its products in hopes of achieving higher sales. But as mentioned, budget management is, very is a very important aspect of financial management systems. And so departments cannot spend so freely. So an intelligent approach uh, it would be to conduct analysis on which investments are yielding the most in return. And that could be done by linear optimization, which is a very cool tool you'll be learning in this program, and then using the findings to restructure the department spending for higher profit while maintaining budget. How does management engineering compare to other programs? I strongly encourage you to visit our website. There you can click on the future undergraduate student, students button, which will redirect you to another page where there's lots of information about management engineering including some detailed comparisons between management engineering and other programs. Let me provide some highlights of those comparisons. Many students are interested in management engineering because they're looking for a engineering plus business type of program. Indeed, the program does emphasize the understanding of people and organizations that will use the management systems. So the program it does have four core courses in economics, organizational design and technology, which you might also find in business programs. Um, but we must emphasize that management engineering is very much an engineering, a credit engineering program that provides a lot of advanced and in-depth training in uh, operations research, data analytics, information systems and software and engineering design, which you will not get in a business program. There, in business programs, you are, you're gonna get a lot of courses in traditional business areas, such as um, finance and accounting, human resource management, um, sales and marketing. Um, the program, Management Engineering, makes you eligible for applying to a professional engineering designation. Uh, whereas, if you are a student of a business program, you will be accumulating um, credits towards a designation in finance or accounting. Management Engineering is fundamentally an industrial engineering program. It's a contemporary and modernized version of that, of that discipline and has much in common with other industrial engineering programs across Canada. There are, however, some important differences that make this unique. Um, the main difference lies in the increased focus on software and information systems. And the program also provides uh, an in-depth focus and expanded scope and expertise in uh, data analytics, information systems, healthcare, finance, and business intelligence. Software and information systems comprises one of the main areas of management engineering. So the program has a number of courses in computer science and software engineering. In fact, of the 13 other uh, programs, engineering programs at Waterloo, only software engineering and computer engineering have more such courses in their curriculum. Um, this, this advanced training in, in computer science and software engineering is also reflected in the careers and co-op jobs that management engineering students get, uh, which will cover things like software development and software product management. However, there are also some uh, important differences between management engineering and software engineering. In software engineering, the focus and the emphasis is the design of software systems. So they take a lot of courses in computer science and computer engineering, often at the interface with hardware. In management engineering, the focus is the design of management systems. This, the focus is, is on uh, understanding how to analyze and, and model and solve real world problems. Finally, many students ask how this program compares to systems design engineering. Uh, there are two main differences. Uh, first, management engineering provides interdisciplinary, in-depth training in the core management engineering areas, those three areas that we've already talked about. Whereas in systems design engineering, you get training across many um, engineering fields, electrical, mechanical, 
even management engineering. And so because of that, there is a bit of overlapping courses, especially in terms of things like optimization and human computer interaction. The second main difference is in the focus and orientation. Systems design engineering is, is much more hardware oriented. They design products, systems that are mostly electrical, uh, mechanical, and computing in, in, in type. In contrast, management engineering is far more um, process and data oriented. The focus here is to design and optimize systems for improving processes and decisions. In this section, we'll provide an overview of co-op and careers in management and engineering. Like all other engineering programs at Waterloo, co-op is a mandatory uh, component of a management engineering program. Students will alternate between work and study terms following the standard stream eight sequence as shown in the slide. The skills of management engineering students are highly sought after by employers. Our students and grads work in diverse industries, including technology, finance, health, manufacturing, and in supply chain and logistics roles in the retail industry. While students work in a large variety of industries, the roles that they take on are typically one of the following. Many students and grads work in business analytics or data science type roles. Working as an analyst is all about supporting your team by transforming data into information that they can use to make critical business decisions. For example, in one of my previous co-ops, I was a data analyst at Wayfair, which is a leading e-commerce company for furniture and home goods. I was on the web analytics team, which was responsible for monitoring the key performance indicators for our sites. Working with databases and data visualization tools, my responsibilities included working with the marketing team to identify areas of improvement in our on-site experience. For example, I worked on a project to understand the differences in customer behavior due to viewing out-of-stock products. Through this project, my team was able to identify common patterns between similar types of customer groups and design an experience to help them shop effectively. Many management engineering students and grads also work in project or product management roles. Project or product management involves leading a team to develop and execute new solutions or products. This includes communicating with other teams to make sure everyone is on track, prioritizing and delegating new tasks or product features, and being the go-to person for answering questions about the project or product. As a project manager on the iPhone operations team at Apple, I was responsible for managing projects focused on reducing the cost of manufacturing the newest iPhone. This included attending status update meetings to report progress to senior leadership, managing deadlines with different teams, and being accountable for answering any questions regarding the project. Another common employment track is software development. Now, as a software developer, you will be leveraging coding and problem-solving skills to build and refine software products and features. In my current co-op position, I'm working as a full-stack developer for an agricultural startup. And full-stack means that I work on both the back-end and front-end. Now, what do I do uh, in my day-to-day? -day? I attend daily stand-ups to discuss progress and new features. I also work closely with product managers to improve and refine the front-end, which is the user interface. I also work with fellow developers to refine the back-end and provide better security and efficiency. And in the context of software development, security usually means uh, data, data security and efficiency usually refers to computational efficiency, meaning how long it takes for the program to run. Now in a startup environment, the software developer role is typically a lot more holistic. It could extend to other facets of the product, such as design and research. And the most essential aspect to being successful on the job is a commitment to continuous learning, either via uh, online tutorials, expert threads, or peer programming. And on the next slide, so finally, Another common track for management engineers is consulting, which is a career that involves investigating, analyzing, and providing solutions for problems that a business is facing. Now, I previously worked as a financial consultant for Procter & Gamble, a large consumer goods company. Now, the issue uh, that I was facing is that one of their, their departments was looking for ways to save money on their promotions. And what does this mean? Procter & Gamble has retailers such as Shoppers, Drug Mart, Loblaws, and many more, and they need to pay a rebate to these um, customers uh, every time they want to run a promotion for protection, just in case the promotion doesn't go too well. And now by understanding the different financial and business constraints that govern the company's internal and external policies, I made it my objective to identify the most efficient products for promotional discounts. Um, and accordingly, I would recommend um, my team to increase promotions on said products while limiting promotions on less efficient products. 
And in order to do that, I built a linear optimization model with Excel. And, and by using historical data as my parameters, I was able to identify the most optimal plan. And I successfully proposed a new plan by presenting my findings and providing data-driven insights as to why they will work. Now, what is the management engineering student experience like? The amazing student experience in management engineering is marked by a strong sense of community. Now the transition from high school uh, to university could be a very difficult one for many students. But at the University of Waterloo, first year engineering students have a wealth of resources available to them to ensure their success. Firstly, there are WEF TAs, which are free tutors dedicated to supporting first year engineering students. They offer drop-in services, evening sessions, and extra help sessions during midterm and final exam season. The university student success office also has peer success coaches, which students can schedule one-on-one -on -one meetings with to discuss how to improve their study habits and academic performance. Another thing to mention is that the small cohort size, usually between 70 and 90 students, creates a tight-knit and collaborative culture in management engineering classes that enables resource sharing and space for close personal friendships to form. Professors and TAs are extremely supportive both inside and outside of the classroom, providing students with research opportunities, mentorship, and extra help, and even employment during co-op terms. And lastly, students also have the opportunity to get involved in extracurricular activities that are specific to the management engineering program, such as the Institute of Industrial and Systems Engineers, or our design team, Industry 4.0. Thanks for listening to our presentation. Please make sure to join us in the Management Engineering booth. Bye now.